Senator, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, was can express how thankful I am for your kindness and encouragement. This precious award serves as a reminder of continuing human rights violation in Vietnam, and that my work as an activist, even in exile, is not yet done. Since the Congress passed the 1959 Captain Nation Resolution, every 3rd week of July, the United States officially recognized the struggle of the people, victims of a oppressive country, and those imprisoned by one party communist regimes. I am here today before you as a living witness, an activist for human rights, environmental issues, and democracy a mother of two children who was sentenced to 10 years in prison by the Vietnamese Communist government for merely exercising the right to express my views. Why I am here, dozens of other political prisoners in Vietnam, in northern detention centers like Nghệ An, Thanh Hoa and Hatton, are currently on hunger strike to protect the abuse of prisoners. Many of them are barely surviving their 50 days on the hunger strike. Please show your continuing concerns. Speak up and join them in their fight. Please urge the U.S. government, the United Nations, and international human rights organizations to pressure Hanoi to apply international conventions on prohibiting abuse of prisoners and installs an independent monitoring system to monitor the situation and condition of the prisoners. As a prisoner who received an early release, I am among the few lucky living witnesses of the cruel, harsh prison system in Vietnam. In my country, being harassed, beaten, imprisoned, and brought into a close trial where the public and family of the accused are not allowed to attend, where there is absolutely no transparency and justice as the common denominator that any Vietnamese activist must share and chat on. Even after my trial took place, I was sentenced to 10 years. The physical and mental torture at the time of detention and interrogation period did not stop. In addition, another common punishment for political prisoners is that prisoners in the South are often transferred to the North and vice versa. This is how the communists make it difficult to relatives and family to visit the imprisoned activists and is also the way to limit the moral spot and foods and food supplement from home. There are difficult living conditions Prison was female prison like me, as protected to supervision by male police without respect for privacy. Even the toilet hole where I use as a restroom in the cell provide no privacy. Severe weather and poor living condition, as well as unsafe water source, made prisoner vulnerable to exhaustion and use. If you think torturing prisoners is only limited to beating, that's not true. With the summer weather at 100 degrees and the prisoner guards remove the fed, <coughs> our prison cell immediately turned into hell both night and day. That is what happening right now at the detention center number six near Anh province. So you can see there are many subtle but effective total that can snuff out the prisoner spirit. It is recognized by law that every month prisoners are allowed to call home once for five minutes. But more often, call are cut up when I intended to notify my mother about my situation in prison.